cuddly, cooing baby is a dream of many new couples. But for one who has sought a permanent birth control method like Anita Nabawesi, it can also be a nightmare. The second-hand clothes dealer in a winner market ruins the day she had her fallopian tubes cut and tied. In 2010, Nabawesi met her second husband, Pastor Emmanuel Kaliowa. At 42, she is four years older than her husband. Their baby, Samantha, who is five months old now, came after 12 years of pain and sorrow. Thinking about this, Nabawesi sometimes falls silent in the middle of a sentence. There is a blank expression on her face, evidence that she is still processing the trauma of secondary infertility. <laughs> Nabawesi's first marriage was violent, and out of pity, her pastor at the time paid for her to be sterilized. Nabawesi, a primary five dropout, says she did not understand the consequences of the procedure. When the marriage ended, her ex-husband denied her access to their children. Even today, 14 years later, she still does not have access to them. So when she met her second husband, she felt that a new beginning had come and she wanted to be a mother again. <laughs> When the pressure of infertility became too much, the couple separated for two years, but later rekindled their relationship. However, her husband told her he could not wed her in church until she gave birth. In 2016, a friend told her about the Women's Hospital International Fertility Center, and she went to the hospital without her husband's knowledge. However, the cost of the in vitro fertilization, or IVF, was between 30 to 40 million shillings. She walked away, but a few weeks later, made an appointment to see the hospital director, Dr. Tamale Sali. Nabawesi began IVF treatments and over the course of six years received treatment worth over 300 million shillings without paying a single coin. However, she did not get pregnant even after nine cycles of IVF treatment. <laughs> Finally, she got pregnant with twins in the 10th IVF cycle. The pregnancy was precarious though, and at four months, her cervix was sewed up to prevent the fetus from coming out. The babies were born prematurely at six and a half months through caesarean section. One baby died after three weeks, and the second baby died a week later. <laughs> In 2020, Nabawesi got pregnant again. This time, her husband decided to wed her as they waited for the child. At five months, her cervix was sewed up again, and at seven and a half months, she delivered a baby girl by C-section. The baby lived for only four days. After this tragedy, the couple was advised to seek surrogacy, an arrangement where a woman agrees to carry a baby for another person. However, Nabawesi did not have the 120 million shillings needed for the arrangement, and Dr. Tamale Sali's son offered to make the payment. <laughs> While the surrogate mother had a healthy pregnancy, Nabawesi had to wear artificial baby bumps to prepare her neighbors for her baby.
on April 29th, 2022, baby Samantha was welcomed into the world. Now that she has come to terms with surrogacy, Nabawesi hopes to have more children. Gillian Nantume, NTV, tonight.